Well, Sensations really is a, a catalogue of effects, screen printing effects, that allow people to invigorate their campaigns. It's a sales aid to the screen printer. Um, it's a door opener for their customers. It's supposed to stimulate the senses because we're using so many different dimensions now where we're printing it. We've got effects in there from glitter, uh, to smell, to tactile links, to uh, removable items, interchangeable items. It shows the flexibility of screen printing used alongside things like LIFO printing and in fact digital printing. Um, it's another way of using all the media available to you really. You'd use it for uh, creatives, agencies, um, media buyers, print buyers. Really it's only limited by yourself. It's that kind of catalogue. Um, it is what it says, it's a sensations catalogue. It's very touchy-feely, um, it's very proactive for our industry, obviously, and it's very proactive for your customers' industry and what they're trying to sell. Um, it shows you a better way of promoting your product, enhancing your product, taking traditional methods and making them even better. Um, and if you display it and you show it correctly, uh, there's no reason why it can't lead to good business. FESPA sat there and they've looked at the industry. It's a federation of screen printers. It's in everyone's benefit to promote this item. Um, it shows the industry in a very good, creative, strong light. It shows that the screen printing is still here to stay and it's permanently developing itself. It's not a standstill uh, medium whatsoever. New inks are being developed, new substrates. They're getting more flexible in their approach about everything because they've got to fit in with today's modern printing. You know, next online will be digital, things like that. You've got to work alongside these things. It's another medium to use. Some people may say that screen is dead. Um, I think FESPA are taking steps to prove it's not. It's, a, it's always evolving. It never stands still. There's always new products out there. There's new substrates to print. There's new challenges. And like any part of the screen industry, the print industry, the digital industry, we're rising to the occasion. Uh, a lot of what we're showing in the catalogue isn't new, but it's been reintroduced and it's been repackaged. It's actually showing it in a modern day light. Um, it's shown that screen printing is very much alive. Uh, if you've been to the FESPA exhibition and you've seen what's on sale today, all the screens out there, it's massive, it's huge. How can they say that's a dead industry? Screen can almost give you 3D printing. Um, screen is an exciting medium. It's tactile. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can smell it. It won't be long before you can taste it. It's almost three-dimensional printing. Nothing else can give you that. The best you can do on litho, the best you can do on digital, is print on a substrate that might have a texture to it. We actually create those textures. Leatherettes, glitters, rough surfaces, soft surfaces. We can print on any surface. Soft, hard, metal, dry, wet, we can do anything. I'm passionate about screen printing because it's always a challenge. Every job is different. You can print the same method time and time again, but it changes all the time. It just doesn't stand still. It's fantastic. You can actually look at the finished product. It's vibrancy, it's rich, it's deep. You don't get that in any other kind of medium. They're all trying to catch up to the level that we've got to. They're just doing it a different way. It's not a competition. We work alongside it. We embrace it, and people should do that for screen. The Sensations catalogue uh, can be obtained in a number of ways. There's obviously the FESPA website, obviously at exhibitions, you go to the FESPA stand, you go to your printer, ask them about Sensations. You go to your media buyer, ask them about Sensations. It's out there. Look in Print Magazine, look in Print Week, it's out there.